Hi, Independent Gel Moment Distributor Kim Foster here. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to use our new Gel Moment Nail Art Stamping Kit. In your kit, you will get three stamping plates, so lots of possibilities for designs. You're also going to get a stamper and a scraper, as well as two replacement stamping pads, one for big and one for small, and then you're going to get three gel polishes. And these are specifically for stamping. They come in white, gold, and black. First thing we need to do is peel off the blue protective film off the stamping plate. For the design, I'm going to use the black polish. Now with this particular stamping polish, it does separate in the tube. So I always leave the lid on and squish it around a bunch of times and that will mix it up nicely. Now I'm going to apply a thin layer of black polish to the top of the stamping plate for the design that I'm going to do. I'm going to do hearts and I'm going to take my scraper and I am just going to pull it down a couple of times until it coats the design. And you can pull it across as well if you need to, making sure that you fill in the design that you want. Of course, you're not gonna use that whole section, but I wanted to make sure that the polish had been evenly distributed. Now you can see it's a double-ended stamper. This is the bigger end, and this is a smaller end. I prefer the smaller end just because my fingernails aren't very long. Stamp it down onto the plate. You can roll it onto the plate from side to side as well to help it nicely distribute. Next, you're going to stamp it down on your finger, and I like to roll it as well. So starting at one edge of the nail and rolling over to the other, and that's going to nicely distribute the design on your nail. Now that we've done that, we need to clean up the sides of our finger. I like to take a nail cleansing pad, one of our cleansers, and just take it and wrap it around the end of my cuticle pusher. And that just gives it a nice pointy end and helps to get nice and close to the nail without actually taking any of the polish off on the nail that we've just done because that sort of defeats the whole purpose. You can also use a latex nail border for nail art. Um, that works really well too. And if you did that, you would just have to peel it off before you go ahead and cure the design. I've gone ahead and sped this up a little bit just for time's sake. After I've done stamping, I'm obviously going to do a full 45 second cure. Now to clean your stamping plate and scraper, you're just going to take the same nail cleansing pad that you use to clean up your finger and wipe the edge as well as the nail stam stamping plate, making sure that you get all of the gel polish off before you put it away. Also make sure that your plate is nice and dry before you put it away if you put it back in its little plastic container it came in or if you're just setting it with your stuff. I always like to make sure everything is good and dry. Now to clean the silicone pad, we're actually going to use the sticky side of some tape to take the gel polish off of it. This helps to increase the longevity of your silicone pad's life and just tap away and just keep tapping. And then if you need to, you can always get another piece of tape and a cleaner one and just keep going until you've removed all the gel polish from the silicone pad. If you use nail cleansers on them, it will break down your pad a lot quicker. So just a heads up about that. I'm just going to show you again. I applied a thin layer of polish at the top of the stamp for the design that I wanted. And then I take my scraper and scrape it down until it covers the design and making sure that there's even distribution of the gel polish. Take my stamper, stamp it down, and then apply it to the nail. What's nice about the dual ended clear stampers is that you can actually look down through the top and make sure that the design is where you want it on your nail. Once again, cleaned up the finger and did a full cure. The last thing I'm gonna do is take Clearly Frisky, which is our clear polish, and I'm gonna top coat all of my nails with it. And this is just gonna help increase the longevity of the stamping polish on my nail, making sure that it doesn't get scraped off or washed off with wear and tear. If you don't have Clearly Frisky, it's not an absolute necessity, but I do highly recommend it, and so does the company. Of course, you would do a full 45-second cure, and that's my completed stamped mani. Thanks for tuning in, and happy stamping!